ruthless and taking the powerful to task. Now, a Target 8 investigation. The house next door abandoned, crumbling, now posing a risk to neighbors when a tree comes crashing down on it. For years, a Tampa couple watched the house next door deteriorate and just disintegrate. They contacted code enforcement about overgrowth and a mm -hmm. gaping hole in the building. And when a weed choked tree crushed their fence, they reached out to senior investigator Steve Andrews. What a mess. Yeah, it really is. And the, the house next door is a bank foreclosure. So this couple feels absolutely powerless. So I reached out to the city and the bank to see who'll step up. It sits in Seminole Heights, Tampa, a neglected, abandoned hole in the wall on Hillside Drive. It's a big hole in the front of the house. Um, it's, it's, it's a safety hazard. There's children that live on this street. Sarah and Craig Hoagland live right next door to this dilapidated domicile. There were squatters living there for around a year, and it's been approximately the past seven years uh, that the home has been sitting vacant and slowly deteriorating. While the Hoaglands work on their lawn, they fight encroaching weeds from next door. Last week, one of their neighbor's vine-choked trees collapsed onto their fence. Once the tree fell, that was, that, that was furious. We started complaining to the city about the overgrowth and lack of maintenance of the landscaping um, several years ago. This hole is a foreclosure, a U.S. bank blight. Records show this shanty is well known to Tampa code enforcement. I shared with U.S. Bank Corporate the news the city just left on the front door of this open air chateau. And they're deeming it a threat to public health and safety. It's just extremely frustrating. The city will wait 21 days for the bank to secure this little hole in the wall, 21 days for another shoe or tree to drop. We're not looking to be compensated for the hole in our fence. We just want the deterioration to stop. We want our property values to not be negatively affected by this house next door. Now, I was told late today that the bank contacted the city and promised to clean up and secure the property. You know, we, mm, <laughs> we yeah. see these stories from time to time. You do this one, you know you're going to get calls about oh, yeah, another one yeah, similar yeah. to this. But how long do they get? You know, we're going to clean it up and take care of this. How long? It's been a long time already. Yeah, 21 days. Code enforcement was out there this morning. It issued a citation to U.S. Bank. After 21 days, the city can go in, secure a place itself, send the bank a bill, and file a lien against the property if it's not reimbursed. This came in on our helpline. So, All right. Speaking of, thank you. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you should call our Target 8 helpline at 1-800-338-0808.